I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. As everybody knows, the unibody, the body will flex. So if you have this tightened down too much, where it bends it, it will actually stop the door from functioning. So we had to put shims in here so it's perfectly level, so the body doesn't flex at all. And now we're good. Fitting, make sure all the panels line up, and then the front end goes into paint tomorrow. Maybe even a day yet. What we are doing is oblogging the hole so we have some adjustability in the back of the fender. Ford doesn't think it was needed. It's needed. Check this out. Almost 60 years old, red from the factory. And that's the color we picked randomly, and that's the factory color from 1962. It's not perfect, but it's surprisingly close. Day on Tuesday we got a lot accomplished we are doing the last fit of the front clip before it goes to paint it's gonna to go to paint tomorrow we did find a couple things that we had to make minor changes to but now we're really sitting good and I just want you to imagine something and you're gonna see this shortly but take a look under that hood how clean it is now imagine everything surrounding that nice aluminum engine in red beautiful bright red that's going to be such a great contrast i'm really excited about this build it's coming along great as you can see kang has gotten parts into paint today we are in red sealer on the parts that will be going red and then of course the black epoxy primer will be going on the front fenders because they will have the antiquing done to them. So we're making great headway here on the parts. Looking good.
7 o'clock. Just finished the last purse in the paint booth. There's a couple odds and ends that we have to have powder coated, but paint, we're done. We're finally done. So next week we'll have full assembly, under the hood, battery box, window vents, the AC from uh, vintage air, the air intake, everything is done, odds and ends. So what we are doing today is we are starting the assembly of the Dirty Ford. Everything's out of paint except for the hood and a bumper. And then uh, let's start to go together. And that's what you're going to see over the next day or two. And rock and roll, I guess. As you can see, the fellas did a great job today. They got the majority of the front end on. We have the top balance to go on, the bumper to go on. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Anyway, remember how I said that motor would look great with all the red surrounding it? Get a close-up of that. It looks awesome. Couldn't imagine us not painting that motor and leaving it all black and like a big booger in there. Anyway, looks great. We have to clean up the rest of the items here but when it's all done it's going to be awesome anyway monday's in the in a wrap done tomorrow's tuesday should get the rest of the truck together and get it ready to take it down into paint to finish putting the rest of the paint on and to antique it Matt Harper with Rags here. Uh, just wanted to uh, give you guys a lowdown on what we're building here. This is going into a 62 uh, Ford F100 unibody. Um, started out with just a stock frame of the seat and uh, removed the springs. Give it a foam bottom. Built the pier layer on the bottom here. Uh, it's really just to, uh, to hold everything up. Uh, so remove the factory springs here hung it on springs, the new pier later here. So it gives a little more bounce. Uh, you know, you throw a little plywood or whatnot in there, everything gets a little stiffer. Um, but we start out with uh, just a foam, foam back, foam bottom. Um, you throw bolsters in, you know, it just uh, really comes down to the look that you, you want to achieve and um, start cutting. Throw some listings in the foam here. Um, we still have to put these guys in. Um, but you just build the listings. Uh, listings are going here. That really is to uh, to give the, this look here. Otherwise, everything is just going to run flat. Um, and so, uh, got a little more bolster work to do here. Um, this is one side of the uh, the seat on the back here. Um, but I would say for the most part, that is. Uh, that's the look that, uh, that we're going for. A really quiet day upstairs in the shop here, at least for a little bit yet. The Ford has been sitting idle for a couple days now. 
got a handful of parts that need to go back on yet. And then she needs to get downstairs and have the paint job finished. Matt Harper here, back at the rag shop. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick view of uh, the 62 uh, seat here. We finished up. Uh, we were here last time. Uh, we had the bottom all done. Had to get the back here. Um, I guess really the only thing we got left on this now, on my part, uh, is the headliner. We got to get the kick panels done. Uh, we got to build a, a back uh, behind the seat there. Got to get the carpet in, and uh, I should wrap this thing up.